All right, I got 25 minutes on the camera, so uh, I thought I'd make a response video to the modern mystic, a comment he made. So it's an economics video, and um, yeah, I'll just get through this in a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so here's his comment on the last video I made, and so I thought I would just explain it. Um, the description of money as tokens to facilitate transactions is fair enough, but the talk of money being tainted with blood does not gel with that. Making money tokens is very easy. Well, that's, eh. Gold and diamonds are tainted with mud and blood, but dollars and bank deposits are clean. You can try to say that the value of money is earned via mud and blood, but it isn't. Yeah, well, I just think that's just all wrong, so I'm going to try to explain. So if I was going to restart an economy or recreate money or do this thing over again, um, the game would basically be is that, okay, you create a, a bank or an office or whatever. And so this is the U.S. And so it's going to create U.S. dollars. All right. So U.S. dollars are going to be created in this institution and then distributed. And the idea will be is people are going to have to use this dollar to pay taxes to finance the function of this thing called a government um, or a world or whatever. And so you could say that, okay, all of us collectively own stuff like whatever, um, parks and um, uh, or whatever. But let's just say it's gold just for the sake of, you know, the government has assets is what I'm saying. So it takes its assets and it monetizes them. So it says, okay, let's say we got 500 of these gold things. All right, so $500, we just make it simple, you know, it amounts to make it easy. So it makes 500, $500 worth of U.S. currency. And let's just say it gives the currency to every human proportionately. So everybody gets $1. And there's only 500 people in the country. And everybody gets $1. And they have to pay 10 cents in tax per year. So that's the rule. So you have to take your dollars, do stuff with them, and use them to pay taxes, 10 cents a year. And so the game would be that you could go to this institution if you needed dollars to pay taxes, and you could give them gold, and they will give you dollars. And so that always is an exchangeable thing. All right, so you could take your dollars here to get gold, or you could take gold here and get dollars. But you could always make these these transactions and the value of gold or whatever you have is is always going to be the thing of value the net value in a country you know the the, um, the stuff okay I keep using the word stuff but I mean I, I do use the word stuff in past videos but I mean it's the stuff okay the stuff <laughs> you know that has value has value because, like I said, the gold, you have to dig it out of the ground, you got to process it, the ore and all that kind of crap, so that's why it has value. The food has value because, yeah, you got to plant the seeds, you got to buy the fertilizer, you got to make the fertilizer, you got to do the picking, you got to do the bug killing, you got to do all that crap. Um, and then we know all these other work that you do to make stuff, you know, making coffee makers or widgets or whatever it is. So, so you just, you have stuff that's made and we know how the stuff gets made in the world. That a ton of this stuff gets made by little kids, you know, in rug factories in India or cement factories in Indonesia or, you know, lots of brutal labor makes stuff, okay? Lots of abused Chinamen and coal mines and all kinds of nasty business to make the value stuff, to get the coal out of the ground so you can burn it, so you can make stuff, so you can sell this stuff to these people here to get these little dollar tokens so you can pay taxes in, ultimately is that's a major thing that's why the dollar still has value is because you can only pay taxes in these dollars and um, so people have to get dollars so what happens is they buy stuff from these people over here who make this stuff out of kids you know worn out little fingers so the worn out little finger money um, product goes over to this country this these people pay these the money over here and then these people say I got a bargain with these people to get the money back so they make a deal you know to get their money back so they can pay the money in taxes to their government so money always has to come back it always has to go through these transactions and I'm just saying with every transaction the thing that makes the stuff the stuff it's you know the pool of stuff the iPods 
and the cars and all the stuff that's made a ton of the stuff is made through brutal labor I mean really hard nasty cruddy work especially the raw material work I mean to get the raw materials that's nasty business work and that's going on in all the third world countries and it's all pretty nasty but that's what's making the value okay and the value that that, that is at the root of all of this currency. So this currency has its value based on the value in these commodities that it theoretically is a representation of. It's connected directly to these value assets. The value of the money, um, you know, its, its denominational value is directly rate, related to the value of a bushel of corn or wheat or the, or the uh, 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 you know, an ounce of gold, um, or, uh, you know, a barrel of oil. I mean, all of these things are connected directly to the value of this money. So the value, the money is monetized kind of directly to the complete asset value. And so then, and the, the IOUs are the things that are little separate pieces of paper, separate claims and those claims are on the value of future stuff so the IOUs are basically written on future labor that'll create future stuff but the current stuff is basically monetized by the cash so the cash does have the blood on it there's no way you can separate the cash from the blood um, because there's a, a direct correlation between the amount of stuff and the amount of cash and it's a ratio but I mean it's still a direct correlation and like I said IOUs can be exchanged for cash money okay as long as they as long as the people like as long as you're making a deal you can buy an IOU for cash and and, and uh, a future and that's what a future basically is too is an IOU um, with the premise that yeah if you're confident that the IOU is going to be worth money in the future then you could buy it and you can exchange it okay but that exchange doesn't necessarily have any blood on it but obviously the value of the money you're using for the exchange does have the blood on it because it's directly tied to the stuff that already exists and we know that the IOU is tied to the value of the future labor that'll have to make the future stuff so the blood is on this IOU there's no way to take the blood off the IOU because it's it's essentially gulag blood now. You know, because we're so far in debt, this IOU, if it's ever going to have any value, if it has any real value and it's not just a piece of crap, the only way it could have real value is, is this IOU is going to be paid for in gulag blood. I mean, you're talking about desperation wages to pay back this IOU. So let's not be fooled that there isn't freaking blood on all of this money. I mean, it's just bullshit to say it's not. So, you know, I think your comment is just rather bold to give me no evidence of how any of this money is clean because the money is a claim. All right? I mean, money is a, is a claim, right? Money is a claim on assets. And assets are created with frickin' sweat and blood and sacrifice and nastiness and having to get up at 6.30 in the morning and, you know, be fucking tortured by evil, nasty boss and go through all that bullshit. I mean, that's what, that's what this, this money is. It's a claim on that um, value created by that nasty thing called labor. I mean, labor is what creates the value. And this, these, these pieces of paper are all claims on the product of that value, the product of that labor. So, yeah, so your comment is, I don't think, entirely appropriate to uh, my argument. And I don't think you can demonstrate anything called clean money. It's all tainted with the brutality it takes to create the value that it's a claim on piece of pie, the piece of money says you are entitled to, that piece of pie can't be made without there being a huge amount of blood and sacrifice and crushed Chinese coal miners and all that kind of crap. There's all kinds of crushed people that that pie is made out of. 
and the money is a claim on the pie. That's a simple way to put it. Alright, I think I made my point. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that.